Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new and don't know who I am, my name is Cheyenne and I make videos on all the delicious yummy vegan food that I like to make and consume. Also other random videos about my life. Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be eating like one of my very good friends, Haley. Hello Cheyenne CQTube viewers, um, how are you? I am going to, I guess, tell you some things that I eat throughout the day that I would love for you to try if you haven't already. Now Haley has a YouTube channel where she does, frankly, fairly more artistic videos than the ones I do on my channel. I think she really has a gift for filming and editing and just being really creative with all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't checked out Haley's channel before, consider this your sign to do so. We happen to be on the same team for a startup that we were working with in early March, I believe, and literally on one of our team calls. We had never met before, but both of us just like were really stricken by each other's voices and I guess like thoughts and opinions. So one day I texted her and I was like, this is super random, but your voice is so sweet and I feel like we'd be really good friends and she literally messaged me back oh my god I was about to say the same thing <laughs> So she's kind of like my sister from another mister. We've never met in person, but we have semi-regular FaceTime calls where we just catch up on life. And yeah, thought I'd give you guys some context as to where this collaboration is coming from. So yeah, Haley sent over a video explaining what she would like me to eat today, modeled after what she eats in a day. I've already had her pre-breakfast, I guess, meal. I had a doctor's appointment really early this morning, so I just whipped that together as I was getting getting out the door. And yeah, I have my laptop here and I'm just gonna play for you guys and show you guys what she had me eat this morning. I start my day with lemon water, hot milk, lemon water, and then peppermint tea after. And then I go into all of that, also my vitamins, but I'm so excited to see you try it, Cheyenne, and see how you like it all. I know you'll love them, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys try them out too. It's all great food, so yummy. Okay, so yeah, I am not a big citrus fan, so it was definitely something different to have a whole grapefruit for breakfast. At first, the taste was pungent, just because I'm not used to tart flavors, but yeah, I brought it with me on the way to the doctor's, and I ate as much as I could and gave the rest to my mom. I really enjoyed the peppermint tea and the hot lemon water because I used to drink a lot of peppermint tea as a kid, so it was kind of nostalgic for me to have that this morning. I don't do it enough, and the hot lemon water was, was a really nice, bright way to open up my digestive system, I guess. This kind of like pre-breakfast routine gives me the sense that Haley definitely eats with intention, which is something that I'm always striving to do more of. One thing I will say about that little pre-breakfast is that, uh, gosh, I don't know how to say this without being gross. Um, it definitely cleaned me out. <laughs> Yuck, sorry for the TMI. Just gotta be honest with y'all. So now I'm back from the doctor's office. I'm showered and dressed. Actually, my OOTD is so cute. I wanna show you guys. I got these pants recently on sale from Uniqlo. I can't even really tell. But they're like cuffed at the bottom. They're so cute. Um, and I wear this top all the time. I don't even know where it's from. Okay, without further ado, let's see what I'm eating for breakfast. So my breakfast is nothing crazy, but I don't know if you've tried these granolas before. I mention these a lot in my own videos. I like to have some kind of granola like Michael's Muesli or purely Elizabeth granola, or I'll have a bunch of different ones I like to try. I like to have that with like hemp milk and some fruit, and sometimes I'll put peanut butter on top, but hemp milk seals the deal. Also like mango specifically or peach are just my absolute favorites to put on. So I like to have that. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's make this breakfast. surface this bowl doesn't appear to be revolutionary but I literally wouldn't ever have thought of putting these flavors 
together. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10 from me, Hale. All right, hi, y'all. So I am back because the heck is this okay sorry <laughs> i'm back because it is lunchtime and i'm hungry let's see what Haley is going to have me eat for lunch i love different toasts i don't just stick to like one plain jane but the one i've been having recently that's been spicing things up is a Kim and jack i think that's the bread i'll get it down but it's, it's a gluten-free bun so I couldn't find the Kim and Jack ones that she was talking about, but I got these gluten-free food for life English muffins, which I feel like they'll work. And then I put avocado, um, dill. <gasps> dill, I forgot to get dill. Maybe my mom will have some in the cabinet. <laughs> Tomato, caramelized mushrooms and onions, red onion, and like condiments and, and like spices. So I like to do um, everything with the bagel seasoning, hot sauce, specifically Cholula, um, onion and garlic, or no, not onion, garlic powder. Um, I'm really going off one, like trying to remember, but it's an everyday thing. And nutritional yeast, and uh, that's mm, so good. It just, it fills you up, you're satisfied, it's amazing. Oh yeah, this girl is speaking my language. You all know I love a savory moment, especially with hot sauce. Okay, <laughs> in her text to me, she said that she sometimes does it with avocado, but she also uses vegan cream cheese sometimes. I got this tofuti one, which is my favorite. So maybe I'll do one with avocado and one with cream cheese. Is that weird? I feel like that might be weird. Oh well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> So my lunch is done. I should probably get my thumbnail with these. They're so beautiful. I'm actually gonna give Haley a call so she can see how proud I am of this creation. Hi, hi. Babe, hey. hi. Sorry, driving. That's okay. I just wanted to show you how proud I am. <laughs> I'm actually running late for an appointment with a professor. So I'm gonna eat this while I speak to him. It's so delicious. Again, I can't believe how much thought she puts into her food. Like there's so many separate ingredients going on here. Definitely could learn a thing or two from this girl. <laughs> and I'll check in with you guys when it's time for dinner. All right, you guys, I'm back because it is dinner time. I know that the dinner she's having me make, yes, I happened to peek ahead at the footage. I know the dinner she's having me make is gonna take a little bit to actually whip up and I'm a little hungry. So in the meantime, I'm gonna see what Haley says I can have for a snack. And then for snacks, I, I just tend to go to bars because they're filling and they're just a perfect medium type of thing. So I like square bars, hemp bars, hemp bars are so good i just found them and they're my new favorite kind of bars um lots of lard bars in there and yeah those are usually the ones i um drift to okay so i have a lard bar here it's the pecan or pecan pie depending or yeah, i don't know how to say the word i'm just gonna snack on this bad boy while she tells me what dinner is gonna consist of as for dinner this right here is about to change the game everyone it is my special mac and cheese i get chickpea pasta i get the shells normally cook those and then on the side you're gonna make your sauce um so you're gonna take some cashews a cup of cashews or half a cup depending on you know how much you're serving and stuff, but a cup of cashews, a cup of water, or almond milk, if you want to make it creamier, um, put that in a blender, or you let the cashews soak and then you put that in a blender, and then you add nutritional yeast, onion, garlic, salt and pepper, and turmeric, 
all in the blender. You blended that up. On the side, you're gonna saute some broccoli and you can add some like vegan bacon in there if you want or like you could like actually not fully cook it but like in the oven make that crispy um and peas if you want i'm not a pea person but it goes really well with this um so then cook those then once the sauce is blended you can put that over the cooked pasta and then add in the other other stuff and if you want to even spice it up a little bit more you can put that in a little pan type of thing and put some breadcrumbs over it and put it in the oven for 20 minutes at 350. The, oh. Mm, just thank you later. Oh my gosh, this meal sounds absolutely delicious and totally up my alley. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is boil my cashews, put my chickpea pasta in some boiling water, get that all cooked, and then start on my sauce. Let's get to it. Guys, this dinner looks incredible. I literally can't wait to dig in. Mmm, that sauce is so creamy. Would it be blasphemous to add hot sauce? BRB. I know that half the world adds ketchup to their mac and cheese and half the world thinks it's disgusting. So if you're the half that thinks it's disgusting, please don't come for me. Ooh, okay, here we go. Yep. I'm sorry, Haley, I know you didn't say to eat it like this, but couldn't really help myself. <laughs> Okay, so I've had my dinner and I'm super weird in terms of dessert where I often like to have it like right after I have dinner, especially if dinner is spicy at all. I like to have something sweet to just counteract that. So let's take a quick look at what Haley is gonna have me eat for dessert. For dessert, I love capeos. I don't say pronounce it cookies. They are just a crowd pleaser. Um, I like to have that with some ice cream, some halo top or oat ice cream, so good. Or chocolate, I'm a chocolate person, so those two. Or also they have like, um, these like, the peanut butter, dark chocolate cups things. Those are really good too, so. Okay, so I love those peanut butter, dark chocolate cups, but when I was at the store, I forgot to get them. Instead, I got this organic fair trade sea salt dark chocolate. I'm not really a crazy sweets person, so I opted for this instead of the ice cream and cookies. But if any of you have seen any of Haley's videos, you know that she loves chocolate and I'm pretty sure she has a little bit every day. All right, let's see. How cute. Ugh, it's hard because I put it in the freezer. <laughs> okay, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly take my vitamins because Haley says she takes some too. I've got my daily probiotic, my B12, my vegan omega-3s, and my potassium and magnesium pill. Okay, y'all, so that is actually going to be it for today's video. I might snack a little bit later tonight, but I have officially eaten all the foods that Haley recommended for me. My biggest takeaway from 
doing this video was that Haley and maybe other people in general are a lot more creative with their meals than I am. I definitely got some inspiration. I mean, that's probably why you guys watch me, like to see someone eating differently than you do and get inspiration from it. So actually going ahead and eating a full day like her, I've got so many ideas. I have so many new food combinations to try that I would not have thought of before. One thing I will say is that I typically eat a lot more protein than she does in a day. So I was a little hungry throughout the day just because carbs and fiber are not as satiating, but she's also a few inches shorter than me and I think just generally a much smaller person than I am. So it makes sense that we need different amounts of food to feel sustained throughout the day. However, I will say the mac and cheese, the fact that it was chickpea pasta was a great touch because that definitely had a lot more protein than normal pasta would. It was so delicious and filling as heck. So yeah, thank you so much Haley for doing this video with me. I hope you enjoy watching it back. Let me know if I did your diet justice. Definitely be sure to go check her out. She's got YouTube and Instagram and I'll link all her socials down below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not yet. I post once a week on this channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I haven't been as active as I would like recently on there just because school is so busy and everything but I do answer all my DMs and I post on my story a lot so if you want to keep in touch with me on a more personal level that's where you'll find me and yeah I think that's all I have to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one eat well and be happy bye